I debated making this video, but I'm making this video as a PSA for the girls who are going to Afrotech. So I've been to Afrotech a few times in the past. Um, I don't really go anymore because I don't want to work in tech anymore. Um, but I do want to give a word of advice for the girls who are in tech and who are not in tech, who are going to Afrotech to only or purposely go and find a man. Does anyone remember the movie 21 Jump Street, the remake, not the TV show, in which there was this scene in which they observed that, like, the stereotype of, like, the cool kid and the jock and the cheerleader is actually not the cool kid anymore, and the new stereotype of, like, the nerds and the people who care about the environment and, like, the kids who were kind of excelling in life are now the new cool kids that is kind of how I feel about the men that go to Afrotech. Stick with me, ladies. It is an environment in which there are a lot of men who didn't necessarily have... What's the nice word that I can use? A lot of pull in a, an earlier part in their life, and now they kind of have a little bit of leverage or a glow up, if you will. And I'm not saying that's necessarily a bad thing, but the thing is when sometimes those things happen to you later in life, it kind of becomes like a clout disease and they take these associations with these certain companies or these certain salaries to their head. So all of a sudden, because the guys got options and because they dedicated themselves to their craft, and became successful, all of a sudden, even though she's trying to say it in a nice way and prefacing what she's saying by saying that it's not necessarily a bad thing, let me guess, all of a sudden these guys um, are not interested in black women or when, if you're going there to get a man, you may not necessarily get chosen because they're letting the clout get to their head and then that's influencing how it is that they're moving. And I can speak for myself as someone who has worked at all of these companies and has been in association with all of these men since 2015. Um, they tend to downplay the women, especially black women, who are their peers and they don't want to date us um, because they think that they're up now. They have all the options in the world and optionality is also a disease. So I really. Optionality is a disease. That's a new one. I've, I've been doing this internet thing for a long time. I've been in these social media spaces. I look at the videos that you guys send us in order to be able to vet whether or not it seems like it's going to be a good video to react to. And then I tend to only look at the first 10 seconds to determine whether or not it makes sense for me to react to it. And I've never heard, and it could be a thing, I've never heard optionality is a disease. That is a first. Of all the things that I've heard on the internet, optionality is a disease. Let me see if she can explain this. I want to say this, and I, I really mean this in a nice way. Why does she keep prefacing what she's saying by saying, and I mean this in a nice way, but then she says something that tends to be or can be taken as the meaning to the people that she's speaking to? For the girls who are going, um, be careful because a lot of these men, I don't think that they're necessarily in a boyfriend, girlfriend husband stage of life especially if they recently started working in these environments um it's gonna take some time for them to get that out of their system so i'm trying to understand this here and this is the thing that troubles me about black culture in general it doesn't matter if you're educated it doesn't matter if you're going into tech it doesn't matter if you're going to a conference it doesn't matter if you know you're going to a restaurant thing ces uh afro tech Invest fest, no matter where you go, everything becomes fuck culture. Everything becomes relationship. Everything becomes dating. You know, these things and these places largely become about the after party or who it is that you can meet and hook up more than it is actually about the conference itself. And as a person that has went to my share of conferences, um, in the past, you know, I've been to conferences all over the country, including Nashville and North, uh, not North Carolina, um, Miami, you know, I've been to conferences right here in Michigan. I've been to conferences out in California. I've been to conferences in a lot of places. 
Um, I was the type of person that just went went for the information, and then I enjoyed the city and whatever it is. I loved the hotel, and I loved the free stays. And I went home, honestly. And and maybe it's just because I was all about business. I was trying to figure out how it is, where the money is, and, and who had it, and how I can network with them. And I was trying to understand you know, what was happening and who was who was building the latest technology and how they was leveraging it in order to implement it into whatever it is that they was doing. And, and if people were doing startups or if you can take this information back to the to the company that you was working in now. And, and I will admittedly say that back then, I'm not even sure if it was like an Afro tech or something like that. But nowadays, it seems like everything, every single thing is about hookup culture. So I am just getting in from Afrotex welcome party, kickoff party. And I will tell you, I've been on site today because my company is sponsoring Afrotex. So I've been in the com- convention area. I also, like I said, just got back from that party. And I will tell you, the men's is outside. <laughs> the employers are here too. So make sure you go get the bag. But also get the bay. There are a lot of women, the cants, the cants are always haters. The cants are on the interwebs on Beyonce's internet trying to shame y'all for looking for romantic connections as well as professional ones. And I totally disagree with that. If I were single, I would be in formation. I'm in formation anyway. Your girl's in formation anyway. But I would really be in formation if I were single. Okay. So don't let these don't let these haters shame you, okay? There are very few opportunities as professional black women. We know there are very few opportunities where we are in the space with professional black men at this rate. Take advantage of that. Y'all, y'all run it up for your girl, okay? Y'all run it up for me because I can't do it for myself. Okay. By the way, my neighbor, who is a whole doctor in his early 30s attractive, literally said to me a day ago that I am going to Afrotech to look for my wife. Don't let these cants keep you from block your blessings, okay? Be in formation. Focus on your focus. But... Uh, I, again, you know, listen, I'm not telling anybody what, can, what they can and can't do. Uh, there are rumors going around that it just literally be condoms on the floor sometimes. Um, my advice to people is keep it professional. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if you are linking up and even if you are looking up, well, my advice to men is to stay focused and don't get finesse because a lot of these women is women are hypergamous in every situation and they're always going to look for the thing that that's going to benefit them. But I will say, keep it professional. Don't get caught up no matter where you at, whether you at the strip club or whether you at Afrotech. People think the same, they're opportunistic, and you can get caught up in some shit that you're not supposed to be in. So be careful. Uh, I know a lot of y'all, you know, you like to party, you like to have fun, you like to mix, mix business with pleasure, keep business business, and then separate that shit. Take care of business, and then get to the pleasure part after it. But don't get caught up. I'm not even sure if it's okay for guys to let their chicks go to Afrotech no more. What the heck is going on out here in these streets? You know what I'm saying? So... Y'all got to be absolutely careful. Don't get caught up in the mix. Don't get caught up in the hype. Uh, don't let yourself get finesse just because she got on a pantsuit like Kamala Harris. Be careful. Get your bag. Take care of your business. And then run it up. Make sure you guys tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description. Also, T. Hanley, 40% off your first order plus 20% off for life. And then last but not least, make sure you get your tickets. Come and see me December 14th in Detroit. I love you. I appreciate you. I'm going to holler at you later. Peace.